wedding your appointment is for Wednesday at 5. Yes, yes, we always find a way. Don't worry. Oh. Bob, Patty, greetings. Sorry I wasn't here when you arrived. I forgot the water bottles in my car. They were in a cooler, of course. Warm water just won't do when people are solving problems now, will it? There you go. So, how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. Where the hell are the other two? Oh, I'm sure they'll be here any minute. <laughs> it's always thrilling for me to help people work through problems, to watch a dispute dissolve into a mutually satisfying solution. You know, sometimes disputing parties even become friends. Why, <laughs> that's wonderful. Why, well, that's not likely to happen. No. <laughs> Well, hey, how's everybody doing? Beautiful day. Hi, Bob. Hi, Patty. Oh, you're late. All right, let's get off to a positive start. Scooch, Henrietta, please sit here and we'll get started. satisfactory to all concerned. I will be monitoring the process and will only interrupt if a rule has been broken or I otherwise deem it necessary. However, I'm sure with all the work we've done together, things will go smoothly. Now, who would like to make his or her opening statement? Oh, I would. Excellent. Go for it, honey. So in the beginning, God, she created, she created the heavens and the earth. <laughs> All the. Li <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. No, no, that's great, great. Oh, Patty, please, please, let's go. I mean, come on, this is. So let's go. You know what? This is just a waste of time. We'll see you in court. Where you will lose. All right. <laughs> time out. Mr. Ludlow, yeah. I appreciate your wanting to move things along, yeah. but as you know, a big part of this process is being a good listener. Oh, oh God! He's starting at the beginning of creation! I mean, it'll be one hell of a long time before we ever get the rooster! <laughs> come, come on, Bob! Please, sit down! We, we said we would give it a try. Uh, Scooch, if you could hurry it up. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, no, no, it, it, it all happened real fast. In the beginning, there was nothing but, but darkness, void, and then, God, she creates light, and then a whole lot of things start separating. The darkness, it separates from the light, and then, then come the waters, which split into the above waters, and the below waters, and the dry land, which, which rises up and separates from the sea. I mean, wow, that must have been something, right? And, and then the plants start happening. And then the next day, the sun and the moon and the stars, <laughs> which is kind of funny because, you know, God, she knows that plants need the sun, so you'd think she would have put the sun first, but 
God also knows that you can leave a plant in a dark closet for a few days and it'll be just fine. So now it's day five. And you'd think, well, well, gosh, wouldn't somebody want to take a break? No. Not God. Because next, she manifests the water creatures. And the birds, including roosters. And the next day, the land animals, 85% of which are insects. I mean, can you imagine making all those tiny little legs an antenna? And then, finally, she creates man. And a little while later, woman. <laughs> and it's a good thing she did, too, because we would have gone crazy otherwise. <laughs> At the end of day six, bam, it's done. Time to rest. Day seven. Thank you. Okay, here's a point. Uh, uh, in societies all over this beautiful planet, people connect to Mother Gaia by, by growing their own food and taking care of her animals. And our rooster, Cocky Poo, <laughs> he's a reminder that, that we are all interconnected. He's our vital connection to this this great vibratory sphere made by God that we call Earth. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Beautiful scooch. Oh, thank you, Henrietta. Okay. Mr. Mrs. Lello, which of you is going to make your opening statement? I am. Very well. Proceed. Your God damn. Your rooster wakes us up at 3.30 in the morning. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's driving me nuts. It's every morning. Uh, I, I don't appreciate your use of an expletive. Oh, very <laughs> nice. I see what you call that an expletive. You know, I, I guess it's the energy behind your words that that's disturbing. You know, I, I do not see any rules in here uh, about not swearing. Oh, let me see. Oh, all right. All right. It looks like we need our talking stick oh. and a positive attitude. Now, do you all remember the talking stick rules or... Shall we go over that? No. Oh, no. got it right here, Jeff. I think we're oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> your problem with our rooster oh, is, Mrs. Fowler, please try using your I feel statements like we practice. Right. I feel your problem with our rooster <laughs> is a perfect example of a first world 1% privileged class problem. So, I mean, so, I mean, Oh, look, man, your rooster is still a problem. Our rooster is, uh, he's not just our connection to Mother Earth, but he's also a registered emotional support. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cocky poop brings me much, much joy and comfort. I don't know what I would do without him. Oh, God. Well, you know what? You may soon find out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Ludlow, we're all here in, in, in good faith, and, and to be fair, that sounds like 
like threatening language. Oh, well, let's, let's just say I've considered buying a pellet gun, okay? You are! You heartless man! You brute! All right, all right, settle down. <laughs> Mrs. Fowler, give me the stick. Uh, give me the stick. Now, does anyone have anything constructive to say? I would like to put forth the first suggested compromise. Oh, and I'm, uh, I'm going to use my, uh, oh, here it is. Sunshine voice, <laughs> and I hope that everyone follows suit. <laughs> Good for you, Patty. We women are the ones who will bring reason, calmness to the table. Go women. <laughs> My idea is to have cocky do <clears throat> poo. <laughs> cocky poo. <laughs> My idea is to have his vocal cords cut. Now, it is a harmless operation, and cocky poo can live. And, and do all the things that roosters do, including standing five feet away from our bedroom window and crowing his heart out. But instead of this, <clears throat> oh, 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 it'll come out like this. I feel, I feel, I feel like hitting you over the head hey, with a hey. You know, I do not think there's anything in those rules about the talking stick being used as a weapon. Now, I insist that you put that thing away somewhere safe. Mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Fowler, give me the stick. Give me the stick. <laughs> Bob, Patty, uh, do you have do you have children? Yes, oh. we have a son. Okay, and uh, so <clears throat> would you consider having his vocal cords cut <laughs> if his crying annoyed you? Our son is thirty-two years old. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Well, well, all right. Now this is an important point, though. Hey, it's well. You see, our son. He's not a rooster! <laughs> Sunshine boys, Bob. Oh, okay, um, how about a suggestion of compromise from the Fowlers? Uh, yeah, no, uh, sure, we have, we have, uh, four potential solutions to this problem, uh, concocted by both myself and my loving partner, Henrietta, in the spirit of brother and sisterhood with Mr. and Mrs. Ludlow, Bob and Patty here. Um, I mean, the first would be, get yourself a real nice pair of earplugs and oh. bam, it's done. Uh, second would- Oh, let me do the second one. Two, travel to Latin America and spend a lot of time in the combo. Then, when you return, you will actually miss the sound of the rooster and be grateful for Cocky Poo's glorious song to the rising sun. <laughs> uh, third would be uh, pack up your troubles and move somewhere else. Oh. I mean, you guys, are, you guys are old enough. You could get one of those window bagels or Winnebago's, Winna Winna yeah. And, uh, oh, and four. No, whoa, whoa, wait. If I may stop you before your fourth 
hair-brained, feather-brained solution. All right, uh, Mr. Ludlow, stay courteous. My heart shuts down when you don't treat us or our ideas with respect. <laughs> Point number one, we have tried every earplug on the market. Uh, Mr. Ludlow, do you have any feedback for Mr. Phelps? I'm getting feedback. Not about the headphones, about, about his statement that, that, uh, My heart, uh, it shuts down when, when you don't- Jesus, feedback, feedback, feedback. feedback. You know what my feedback is? My feedback is, man up! Uh, I mean, seriously! Come on! What, is, what does that even mean, Bob? What does it truly mean to be a man? Is it, is it to be a closed door? Or to be an open door? What takes more courage, more... Your inner spirit. Now is not the time to solve philosophical or societal problems, Scooch. Uh, please, sit down. Let's get back to the question at hand. What to do about a puppy cock? Cocky poo. Oh, cocky poo. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, now, who would like to make their next statement? Me, 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 me. Okay, point number one. We've tried every available earplug, okay? We've tried white right, notes, blue notes. We turned all the noise going. Your rooster cuts through them like a knife through butter. Huh. Oh, 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 suggestion number two. <laughs> we are staying right here. In the good old U.S. of A. Huh? Huh? Oh, three, three, three. If anyone should move, huh? Well, it should be you, okay? You don't live in, on, on our farm. You live in a neighborhood. Huh? Yeah, why don't you move, okay? Take yourselves and your rooster and move. Far, far. Oh, baby, far. Oh, <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Back to the uh, campo. Oh, okay, 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 all right. Now, you haven't even heard our fourth suggestion yet, and I think it's the best one. So, uh, Bob and Patty, uh, we have here the plans for your home. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. So, by removing this wall here between your spare bedroom and this utility closet, you could create a new master bedroom on the opposite side of your house from where Cocky Poo has chosen to roost. And bam! It's done. <laughs> and look, you can see your new master bathroom would only be down the hall, through the garage, and just past the washer dryer. Oh no! Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see. Oh, yes! Yeah! You know, that is an interesting proposal. We'll do it! Yeah, Bob! <laughs> don't, 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 yeah. you, don't you think we ought to talk about this? I mean, this is a big decision. No, no, honey, we should do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. That is, um, uh, as long as uh, you pay all the costs. <laughs> uh -huh. Plus an inconvenience fee, equal to the expenses. Okay. <laughs> how does it, how does it feel? in your body when you make a sarcastic remark. Oh, it feels great! I gently suggest you try to go 
deeper, past the sarcasm, Bob. That's what Hockey Poo's taught me to do. He's given me access to my deeper self. Oh, Henry, Anna, Hockey Poo sounds like an amazing rooster. But yes, he is. Thank you, Patty. I feel validated by your comments. Oh, I am so glad. I really am. That is so sweet of you. You know, we should try to be real neighbors and have lunch together sometime. How's uh, this Sunday, my place? Oh, why, that would be wonderful. I hope you won't mind if Cocky Poo joins us. He likes to roost on the back of one of the chairs while we eat. Oh, isn't that clever? (laughs) Oh, you know, that gives me an idea. Our son is very handy, and, and he could make you a, a perch that attaches to the wall in, in, in your dining room, or, or your living room, or even your bedroom. <laughs> Why, that is so sweet of you. Isn't she nice, Scooch? You know, I have a friend who's a good taxidermist. <laughs> My son could do the slaughtering, <laughs> if, if you want. And then, when Cocky Poo comes back all stuffed and pretty, we'll set you up at the perch. (gasps) 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 (laughs) Ram! I feel so bad with (laughs) it. what to do in times like this. He'll kind of cluck softly and gently whack her temples with his waddles. I, I had a mission. Oh, we're neighbors with roosters and, and neighbors without roosters lived in peace and harmony where love would conquer hate. Where the whole world lives in peace. I was just giving feedback. I drink cold water and a cooler and look what happens. Oh, wait. Now, I think. I think. I think. We need to go to our happy place. Now, I want each of you to go inside and find your own personal happy place. A place where you feel safe and happy. Now, we'll spend just a few minutes in our happy places 
is and then resume in a peaceful and respectful manner. Now, close your eyes. Good. Begin. Oh, you know what? I am so hungry. Oh. What's for dinner? Oh, I'll give you 
your one guest. <laughs> Fire up the barbecue, honey, because we're having us a special treat. 